Hello, everybody! Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome, one and all. Welcome back to an alternate universe, King's Quest VI. <laughs> so here we are in the DOS version of King's Quest VI, which does not feature any of the high-res goodies that the Windows version did. And we're going to use this version to pretty much go through and get the worst ending at all possible of King's Quest VI. We're not going to give Casino any inkling that we're even here. We're not really going to introduce ourselves to the castle. We're just going to kind of show up at the end and be all like, Hey, here I am. No, we're not going to help out. The, we're not going to do anything. But there are a couple of few things that we have to do. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll fast forward to the interesting bits that you haven't seen yet. For now, ooh, a coin. The sand is warm to the touch. Missed. Alexander picks up his royal insignia ring from the beach. And just so you guys can see the few small differences between the high-res and, and low-res version, like here's the new walk, the old walk icon, rather. Uh, everything's just a little bit more pixely. The, 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 okay, the portraits here are not as great. And then once we actually get into a conversation, uh, I can show you the portraits. So here we are, our first uh, trip to the pawn shop. And I think there are a few just sort of obligatory conversations that we do have to go through. But I can show off the character portraits here. Good day, merchant. Can you tell me what Look at land that this mullet. is? Look at that. By the moon's light, what a question. You must have been out too long in the sun, or perhaps I, knocked your head up on a rock. It's Maybe it's just me, but I really love the low-res portrait so much better. Like, especially him, he's got this, like, little gap in his tooth and his glasses. And the art style just matches better with the surroundings. See, I've already restarted because I'm finding it a, a real challenge to try and do the minimum possible. Because uh, after I had the conversation with the pawn store owner, I walked into the bookstore... But I realized that the cloaked guy, like the genie, was there. And it's like, oh, he might see me. And, like, I don't even want anyone to know I'm here at all. Like, super bare minimum. But, actually, no, upon further reflection, he has the magic mat. No, no, the, the, the pawn store owner has the magic mat. Do I need to talk to the bookstore owner at all? Do I need the spell book for anything if I'm going for the worst ending? I don't know. Let's try it without. But if you guys have any, any ideas, because this is going to be a bit of a challenge doing the absolute minimum, getting the worst ending possible. So this might take a few tries. So leave some ideas in the comments if you can think of anything, because I will listen and obey. And you know what? Heading back to the pawn shop, I'm not even going to have the initial conversation with this guy. I don't care about the land of the Green Isles. It's like, oh, now I know where the castle is. Let's find it for ourselves, the jerk. Here, just take my money. And even, do I need any of these... I'm not even going to do that. I'm not even taking a mint. Though I think I might need a mint. I'm going to take a mint. Alexander. I'm just going to walk into your shop, not say a word, take your mint, and leave. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, and Ali's books. Is there anything that we need to do? Because all I need to do is get my hands on the magic map. And to do that, I need to learn of the magic map's existence. Which may, I think, is told to us by the bookstore owner. Old lamps for new. Old lamps for new. I hear you, Tony. You're fine. Uh, maybe it was the, uh, oh, the ferryman. But no, I need him to. I need Ali to tell me that I'm allowed. I can go see him. Otherwise, he won't talk to me. So, Old lamp. shut up. So, yeah, I think I do need to talk to Allie and introduce myself. But then I'm... All right, there's no avoiding it, I don't think. All right, so that quick conversation should get us in to see Ali. And we do need this free book. Alexander. Oh. Now, technically, the genie never turned around. So maybe he just... Uh, it's a secret. And they don't know who I am. They have no idea who I am. Okay, that's fine. All right, there's you. You'll you'll actually be the most important person in this run through. Oh, the genie does know I'm here. Ah. Hey, stranger, come join me. No, that's okay, man. I'm all right. What is it you wanted to talk about, young man? Just wanted to show off his portrait before we skip his entire conversation. Um, technically, I'm actually just here for your um rabbit foot. I see you have a rabbit's foot. Has it brought you much luck? As you can see, why don't you take, perhaps, a magic map? There we go. The well, that's all I need to know. Bye. Well, I think I'll be going now. Posh. <laughs> Alexander is so rude. And actually, now that I think of it, this path that I'm trying to find would be the ideal speedrunning path, since you're doing the minimum necessary. 
So, yeah, we'll keep this in mind. Oh, hello there, Jal. I mean, stranger. I don't know who you are, so bye. I I'm not talking to strangers. How fair you? <laughs> Um, how do I talk about the map? Uh, oh wait, no, the pawn store owner, not the bookstore. Bye. Good day. Uh-huh. Oh, he sees me. I'm gonna sneak around him when he's not looking. Yeah. Excuse me, merchant. Why, as a matter of fact, I do. All right, we're gonna need that information about him staggering off after a mint, which is why we grabbed a mint. Master! <laughs> Just show that master and him falling down. You fool! You've been eating those mints again! He was in the pawn shop buying a magic... <gasps> smap! Smap! Magic smap? What is this magic smap? <laughs> I forgot about this conversation. With smap? He can travel to other islands. Master... That's a map, you don't! Oh, drat it all! I thought I took care of the only means of travel. By my scimitar. I can't have him stirring things up. Not now! Get a hold of yourself and listen carefully, Shamir. Go to the other islands and tell them... Alright, so now that we know what we know already, that conversation makes a little bit more sense. Because, okay, so go to the other islands and tell them that this guy in green, this Alexander guy, is... Uh, an assassin or something. Um, so we do need something from the pawn store owner. So we do need that nightingale because we do need access, I believe, to all of the Island of Wonder. So that nightingale is needed to fool the guards. And I'm wondering, uh, I'll probably need uh, the flute so I have the hole in the wall uh, for the for the uh, well the, the catacombs because I I believe the catacombs you cannot skip. I might be wrong, but I'm probably not. Actually, you know what? I shouldn't have even taken that book because I want to see if we can go through the entire game with us never getting our ring back ever. I'm not even going to visit the castle. Screw them. Everybody on this island is on a need-to-know basis. I wish after that, uh, that little conversation you had, if you heard the smap conversation, then the narrator just calls it a smap from now on. That would be hilarious. Alexander pulls out his magic map. No such luck. All right, so a quick detour at the uh, Island of the Sacred Mountain. I think we have everything we need to fool the five senses. One, two, three, four, five. Yes? Question mark? He said not saving at all yet? Alexander did it. He's fooled the guards. Guards. Now, now that that's over, I'm actually even considering... Do no, no, I definitely have to come here because I have to at least get to the Island of the Beast and solve their problems. So I don't even think I need the sentence floating here. Be Ugh, do I need my ring at all? Do I? Oh, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try not getting my ring back and see if the game will let me. I don't think I need to visit over here at all because I don't need the uh, solution to the underworld puzzle, nor do I need the rare book to trade for the book of spells because I don't think I need the book of spells at all. So I don't need to go to the underworld. I don't need the paint to get in the castle. And I don't need to make rain. So, no, I, we're just going to skip the spell book altogether. I don't need the bottle of milk because I don't need baby's tears. I don't need swamp ooze. I don't need rotten tomato. I do need this head of iceberg lettuce, though. And I think I need you, so I'll come back later with the flute. Do I need the lamp? No, because I don't even need the genie's lamp. I don't need anything. Alexander dis... <laughs> Oh, okay, and now that I'm thinking about it, yes, Alexander, we do need to go to the catacombs because we need the shield to get past this guy. Um, so, yeah, I guess up the cliffs of logic we go, and we do need the hole in the wall, so let's go back to the pawn shop owner. Yeah, don't be such a baby. Oof. That's odd. Yeah, yeah, that is very strange, isn't it? All right, so that scene just told us that they're out of mint, so that means I need the tinderbox at some point to get more mint, because I think you need the mint for the absolute worst ending. For now, let's trade in this for the flute. While the wall flop. Gotcha. All right. Hole in the wall get. So I guess next stop is... Uh, is there anything else I need for the catacombs? Yes, I need the tinderbox. And I think that's it. I don't need to waste my time getting the gold coins from the skeleton, nor the skull. All I need is the brick. Uh, did I forget to get the brick at the Island of Beast? Is that where you got it from, or was it in the catacombs? I forget. I'm still thinking about the ring, because 
I know we use that to sort of prove our royal birth, but who do we actually have to show that to to get through? I'm still going to try doing it without the ring and see if the game will let me or if I put myself in unwinnable state, but let's see what happens. Anyway, off to the catacombs. That means that climbing the stupid cliffs of logic. Grr. Yeah, there it is. There's the brick we need. Got it. Perfect. Okay, now I think we have everything we need to survive the catacombs. So we have the brick for the uh, the gear crushing puzzle and the hole in the wall to find uh, the minotaur and then this so we don't die, get tor literally torn in half by the minotaur in a dark room. Okay, score. Let's go. And I think... In retrospect, if you come back here, uh, well, the first time anyway, you go up there with everything that you actually need, and Alex is like, dude, I'm ready now. Toss me in, bro. Put me in, coach. But no, we had to go back and get the brick. Now I think we're ready. So, you have chosen to come back and face the catacombs when you- Yes, I have. Okay, toss me in, guys. I'm ready. Ooh, look, my new home. And you are far wiser. Bravery and suicide. <laughs> 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 Bravery and suicide. Whoop. That's what I get for making fun. There it is. There's the beauty. Thank Alexander you. take perfection. And don't I also need like a scythe or something? How did I cut the plants to begin with? An axe? Oh my god, I don't remember. Guess remember when I get there. You know what? While I'm thinking about it, I don't think we have everything we need to fight the Minotaur because we don't have the red cloth from the uh, the queen of Whatchamajigger, the Island of Wonder. Crap. And they needed, uh, what, a, a rotten egg? or so? No, 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 not a rotten egg. Uh, oh, no, they didn't need anything. I just need to visit them. That's it. That's the... There's the budger. Alexander. Actually, now that I'm thinking of it, we took the time to get the Alexander. hole in the wall. Do we actually need him if we just sort of look at the tapestry? Uh, back in a minute. Alexander does not see anything unusual about or under that tapestry. And the tapestry itself is much too heavy to take. Well, that answers that question. The answer is yes. All right, well, bye, I guess. Okay, catacombs done. She gives me the vial of water, which we actually don't need in this one. So all we need is that shield. So off to the uh, island of the beast. Is there anything we need from the Druid Island? I don't think I don't even think we learned the Druid's Island exists in this run. Um, I think we still need the dagger. Yes, yeah, so I think we are still on as minimal a run as possible right now. Oh, we do know the Island of Mist is there. Interesting. Who told us about that? I oh, I think uh, Ali did at some point. I wonder if that's a conversation that could be skipped to, so we just never learn about its existence. I still have a feeling I'm missing something to. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do need to go to the Druid's Island because I need the scythe to chop down the bushes. BRB. Don't mind me, boys. Just From here for your cutlery. Alexander takes the scythe. Score. All right, back to the beast. And we can never come here again. So do we need the coal? I don't think so. Because uh, the coal is only used for... Exchanging it for the rotten egg, I think, uh, which we need for a spell, which we're not going to cast. So I'm not going to bother with it. But I did drop a save just in case. Okay, bye forever, druids. All right, and we need that white rose to show to beauty, I believe. And we'll go through Alexander. here, and it'll try and force us out. And we're like, nope. Ooh, but I use your... All right, I talked to Beast for two seconds. He comes out, curses me, and pieces out. Okay, so now off to uh, the Island of the Crown to get beauty. Um, oh, do I need my ring for that? I don't think so. Find out in a sec. If so, I mean, it's not a problem to get, but it would save some time. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so I don't need my ring. I need an A ring so you can sense my confusion, but not my ring. They never did answer the question of how I took her with me with a magic map. You the enchantment! <laughs> it's like you see it I, is broken! You see, I see you wear my ring. Floop! I am What? Oh! My clothes! Love that this hat, gown. by the way. It's excellent. How well it suits your noble heart. Alex You have You will all Thank Alright. Come beauty. I think all the pieces are in place that we need to proceed to the castle. And, all right, Mr. Salamander, Amscray, 
We know who you are. All right, so we have uh, Beauty's Clothes, uh, which does have the hair in it, which you can use as the, uh, for, what are the, uh, what, was, what spell was that? Uh, what spell did you need the noble woman's heart hair for? I don't even know. So we have the dagger, which we need in the castle, the mirror. Uh, oh, yeah, we do need to go back up and get the mint. That's necessary, I think. It might not be. I'm pretty sure it is, but I'm going to do it anyway because I'm sure that makes the ending even worse. Okay, I think I, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that we have the bare minimum we need now to get into the castle and do our thing and basically stage the most botched rescue attempt ever. A group of serving women approach the castle. Aha. Ah, woof. More serving women. The castle staff is certainly busy today. It reminds me of Punny Bones from Quest for Glory 4. All right, Gruff. Gotta move on there, wenches. There's plenty of work left to do before the wedding. Yes, Sergeant Gruff. <laughs> you look like a young lady, but you speak like an old lady. I also thought he was saying, ah, woof, because that's just, he didn't feel like barking. So instead of saying, ah, woof. Those serving wenches are always late. But I think this guy's literally, his name is literally Wolf. So it's like, ah, hey, Wolf. Hello, Gruff. All right, so that's our inn. So now that we have Beauty's clothing, it's like, oh, those serving girls, they're always late. And it's like, oh, are they? Time for a little cross-dressing. Taking his cue from the serving women he's seen enter the castle, Alexander decides to try a few alterations to make himself more acceptable to the guards. He ducks into the little hut to put on Beauty's clothes. Beautiful. Feeling a little foolish, Alexander slips Beauty's old slave clothes on over his own. Imagine if Cosima saw him like this. I don't think Cosima's even going to see me until the well, very end of the game. Here we go. Go ahead and do it. Your face is covered. You're fine. They don't even know what you look like yet. You there. Girl, you're late. Get a move on before the wazir sees you. Yes. <clears throat> yes, sir. Are there any women here today? The castle guards lock the main entrance doors behind Alexander. From the open door comes the clatter of pots and pans, yelled instructions, and other busy kitchen noises. Girl, don't just stand there. There's a stack of silver almost to the ceiling that needs polishing for the wedding. Get a move on! I thought that was Jallo for a second. He's got the same little genie pants and the same awesome shoes, the teal. Phew. I can't afford to get caught up in that mess. I'd never find Cosima. Well, you want to spend your day polishing silver? It sounds great. All right, fine. Okay, so this is the main divergent path. Um, I believe... After I save, you never actually go down to the basement, or do you? No, it's locked. The door is locked. Oh, interesting. So the basement is never played with, but you do get to play upstairs now. Um, can you actually go into the main hall? You can. Uh oh, oh. Alexander's walked right into a couple of guard dogs. Look, an early guest. Are you on the bride or the groom's side? Totally the bride. That's the foreigner the wazir warned us about. Grab him! Uh-oh. Ugh. You'll stay in here until we find out what the wazir wants to do with you. The guard dogs leave. Now, I don't think we actually have a way out of the dungeon here. Steps echoes outside Alexander's cell. What are you doing down here, Shrew? We've already got him locked up. Go back to your post upstairs. Uh, uh, the wazir wanted to know what all the commotion was about, and I told him about the intruder. He told me to post extra guards on this one. Extra guards, huh? So be it. Just as Alexander realizes that he has no possible means of escape, he hears the sound of wedding music playing somewhere in the castle. King Spider. Confound this dungeon! I'll never be able to stop the wedding now. Oh no. Tis a noble thing to have a means of escape, and tis far, far better thing to never get caught at all. That's cute. 
All right, so don't do that. Uh, it also, I don't think it lets you into the kitchen. You never actually see it. He just says, no, there's no way I'm going in there. So there are guards all upstairs. So we have to be, uh, I forget. I know we spend most of our time in this hallway, but I think we can go up here too, maybe. Oh, uh. Whoa, Alexander runs right into a guard dog patrol. All right, so maybe we don't go this way at all. There are two thick wooden doors on the east wall. And one thing I do like about uh, Phoenix's uh, remake, the, uh, not remake uh, the silver lining rather, is that this castle is fully explorable now, almost to a fault. Okay, so we can't go this way because there's always someone looking at me, so let's go the other hallway. Aha, so these two move in the same direction at the same time. By Cerebus Collar, I'll be glad when this wedding is over. Bay, I'm getting mighty tired of this patrol. It's wearied me to the bones. I couldn't agree with you more, Wolf. Who'd have thought we'd ever have to listen to Princess Cosima crying all day long and be ordered to ignore it yet? Something sticks in my craw about the whole thing. The Wazir says that the Princess is not herself. Says she's half mad with grief over her parents' death. I can see it, the poor might, but still. I agree. It seems cruel to lock her up when she's so heartbroken. Let her out in the fresh air, I say. It'll do her a world of good. Aye. Well, she insisted on the morning period, and it's up today. Thank the stars. It's too bad we couldn't find that nightingale of hers. The Wazir says she's been pining for it. <laughs> if I had an ounce of luck, I'd have found it weeks ago. <sighs> Not only would it cheer up the princess, but the reward the wizirs offered for it would make me pretty happy too, doggone it. Oh. Oh, well, our luck will definitely be out if the wizir catches a snap in our jaws at our post. Sorry, Wolf. I'll keep my muzzle shut. That's another little thing I never knew about uh, the Nightingale. So the wizirs actually put like a reward, a bounty out on the Nightingale because it's her only link to the outside world. So he's like, okay, you find that nightingale and bring it to me, guards. And yeah, and then I'll give you a reward and I'll give it back to her, Kasima, and she'll be so happy. But no, he's going to, like, kill it. He's going to murder the only thing that gives her joy. A marble statue of a guard dog in full regalia adorns the top of a pillar. Oh, I thought that I looked like um, Captain Saladin up there. So let's hop in here. Alexander hears the guard's footsteps pause for a moment, then start up again. All right, so let's hide here, I think is the trick. Whoop. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, so we need this portrait. I forget why, but I think we just need a nail or something is the trick. The guards pass the pillar, and Alexander sighs in relief. Phew, they didn't see him. Oh, you still can't see me, right? Uh, okay, good. Okay, well, bye. You guys go that way, and then I got some business to do in this alcove, and then I think in the... Phew room over there. I gotta get that same letter. Alexander takes a closer look at the portrait on the wall. Duh. Kindly smiles light up the faces of the couple in the painting. The man has an intelligent, sensitive look about him, and the woman is quite lovely. Uh-huh. Well, it doesn't really Alexander matter. guesses that the man and woman in the... Yeah, yeah, we know it's their parents. Okay, so we're not even curious the about the picture itself. Whoop. Whoop. Hi. Here they come again. Okay. Alexander checks behind the portrait. There we go. There's that gigantic nail we need for something. Alexander pulls the nail out of the wall and keeps it. I don't think they ever noticed that the portrait is the now sound on of footsteps. the floor, but whatever. Here they come again. I imagine I need this nail to pick a lock. I know it's at least one get out of jail free card if you get captured, but not much else that I can remember. It's been a long time since I've taken this path. Hey, look, Wolf! The uh -oh. king and queen's portrait fell down! Uh-oh. Uh, sorry. I, I was just looking at it. Get him, Bay! Oh. Because we can't put it back. We need the nail, right? Oh, wait. I remember. It's all coming back to me. We're missing something. Hang on. They actually gave me a really obvious clue I didn't even pick up on because we need the nightingale. It's like, oh, if only we could find the nightingale. Well... Alexander winds the mechanical nightingale and places it strategically on the floor of the upstairs hallway. Not suspicious at all. Extremely smooth. 
Get out, get out, get The out. mechanical song echoes in the corridor. Alexander hears the sound of boots pounding as the guard dogs come to investigate. Alexander... Hup. Look at this, Wolf! A metal bird! Sure is, Bay. How do you suppose a metal bird got in here? You got me, but there's something weird about it. Hey, could this be Cosima's nightingale, do you think? What, you lapdog? The princess's nightingale isn't some tin thing. How do you know? Have you seen it? Well, no, but... I don't know, Bay. Humans can be pretty strange. Hmm. With their sense of smell, maybe she wouldn't even know it wasn't real. I say we take it downstairs to Captain Saladin. He'll know what to do with it. Speaking of your acute what sense of smell, plan? I'm right here. Jowls and Mitre in the other hallway. They can handle it for five minutes. Think about how happy the princess would be to get her nightingale back. And then there's that reward money and my missus. Right, Wolf. Let's go. You know, you could also solve this problem by just one of you going, but... Alexander hears the guard dog's boots clank noisily on the staircase leading down to the Grand Hall. All right, so we bought ourselves some time, so Alexa now we can get the nail. No the problem. Alexander put... No, 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 Alex. Alexander... Thank you. Alexander pulls the nail out of the wall and keeps it. Score. So I believe this nail acts as sort of the skeleton Alexander. key that we need. Oh, and that also, I wonder if we go into the next door office, because that's where uh, Al Hosward is doing his writing. <gasps> Ooh. I wonder if we can just kind of bust it on and be all like, hey, bro. All right, so we use the nail now on this chest. Alexander does. Alexander wiggles the nail in the trunk's lock until he hears a click. That never works in real life. Okay, so now we have the letter, which we can give. I think we that part downstairs is still the same. We give that letter to uh, uh, Saladin. But we also have to give the dagger to Kasima. And if we don't, I don't think we could win the final battle, like, at all. Because our arms tire out. She never stabs him in the back and never turns his back. And I never get to bang him on the head with it. So we have to at least tell Kasima that we're here. That's a shame. I kind of wanted to be all like... Because, <laughs> Alexander, what are you doing here? Oh, I can't get through there? What? The wardrobe is full of black cloaks and a rather sour smell. <gasps> oh. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so I can't. Maybe one of the doors around here is hers and I can just, like, slip it under her door or something. Uh, so this is Al Hazard's room, I think. A heavy wooden... There's... Alexander hears the muffled sound of crying coming from the back hallway. Oh, so maybe this is her door. That doesn't Alexander make any decides sense. To sneak a peek at what's hidden behind that door. Alexander can see little of interest from the keyhole's vantage point. I am 80% certain that this is Al Hazard's room. The door is locked from the inside. There must be somebody in there. It's too bad we can't listen to the door and hear his entire evil scheme. That's a bummer. The crying is louder here. Gotcha. It seems to be coming from the doorway on the north wall. This is a really pretty hallway, by the way, and you never get to see it unless you take the crappy ending. A red carpet runs the length of the corridor. A galloping horse adorns the north wall. Hmm. It's almost like they didn't put as much work into describing everything in here because they knew no one would take it. A marble bench along the wall provides a place for quiet contemplation. On the north wall of the hallway is a thick wooden door. The doorknob and keyhole are literally buried under a heavy padlock. Literally. It looks like someone wants to make sure the occupant of this room does not leave. And the guards are not suspicious of this at all? Okay, maybe just talk to it kind of Ali Zebu style. Hello? Is there someone in there? Who... who's there? Kasima, is that you? It's Alexander! Alexander? Prince Alexander? <laughs> I, don't, I don't what? I don't believe you. It is Alexander, Kasima. I sailed here to see you, and the ship sank and... Kasima, just tell me what to do. How can I help you? Do you want me to get you out of there? If you really are Alexander, please, please, you must get away from here. 
There are guards everywhere, and the Wazir would have you killed if he found you here. But what about you? I can't just leave you locked up like this. The only way out for me is to stop the Wazir. See what you can do out there. In the meantime, I should be safe enough. He hasn't harmed me... yet. Besides, if I can get my hands on something with which to defend myself, I'm pretty sure I'll get a chance to use it. The Wazir feels safe around me. No one else can get that close. You're so brave, Princess. But it's too dangerous. Have you forgotten where we met? What is Abdul compared to Mordak? I'll be fine. Now go! Alexander hesitates. I'll do as you say. I will find some way to help you, Kasima. I swear it. Yeah. I believe you, Alexander. Please, be careful. Okay, so I can give her the letter, which proves evil doing, but not like she needs to know. We're not really going for points here, so I'm just going to give her the dagger because that's all I need. Alexander hears the sounds of guard dogs. Okay, 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 okay here, here, here. Kasima, take this small dagger. It's not much, but perhaps it will prove useful to you. Oh, thank you, Alexander. I'm sure it will help. Okay, let's get out of here before the guards get here. Oh, uh, I, I messed up my mouse clicks. Good gravy, a strange man! And by the princess's door yet! Jowls, come quick! Okay, bye. I... What if I could just slip the dagger under her door without even saying anything? Alexander has no reason to use that on the padlocked door. Ah, dang. That's make it even worse. Hello? I think that's all we need to do, so let's get out of here. Uh-oh. So this is where they took the mechanical nightingale. An intruder! Guards, get that man! Alright, so this is how I show the note to Saladin now, that the wedding hasn't actually started. I think. Is this the right thing to do? This looks sort of familiar. I've literally played this path maybe twice in my entire lifetime. <laughs> Hi, Saladin. Wait, wait, you don't know me. Who are you? You must be the dangerous foreigner the Wazir has asked me to look for. How did you get past my guards at the gate, and why do you want to harm the princess? I don't mean to harm the princess. I only... Never mind. I'll interrogate you later, after the wedding. For now, put him in the dungeon, guards. The Wazir will be pleased to hear that he's under lock and key. Oh, no. That's not the right thing to do. Ah, oh, crap. You'll stay in here and- The guard- What did I do wrong? Maybe I do have to show her the letter? Maybe that's like some sort of flag the game sets? The crime- Let's find out. Hello? Who- Cassie- Alright, so here's your dagger, Cassie. Cassima. Alright, fine. Alright, here's the letter. Fine. I found this letter in the Wazir's bedroom. I- I think you should know what it says. <gasps> I can't believe it! Oh, I had my suspicions, but this confirms everything! Alexander, you must take the letter. You might have a chance to show it to someone who can help you stop the Wazir. Okay, so I showed her the letter. Does that change anything? No. Uh oh. No, it does I not. Alright, I have an idea. So, Cassie, here's your dagger. I'm not showing you the letter. Cassie. So, bye. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hang out over here. I'm going to put this... Oh, I'm going to put the nail back. Okay, so this way it won't get busted. And I'll just sort of wait for the music, maybe. Eh. Alexander. Uh, and hide. Done. If you didn't have the brain of a cat wolf, you'd have known that mechanical nightingale wasn't Kasima's nightingale. I was all for staying on patrol, but you wanted to show the thing to Saladin. Well, at least the captain wasn't too mad. He's a good, honest dog, Saladin is. I err. Wish the same could be said for our. Oh, watch your tongue. Hush! Do you want to be dazzled, you fool? Oh, apparently it's happened Somewhere before. Somewhere nearby, a door opens. That must be Al Hazred. <clears throat> Greeting, Shamir, sir. Oh, it's the genie. A petulant voice snaps a response at the guards. The wedding is about to begin. Make sure everything is secure. Yes, sir. Footsteps retreat down the hall towards the back hallway. Alexander hears the distant sounds of chains rattling. A door opens. There's a small commotion and a woman's sharp cry. 
Kasima! Uh, hey, hey, hey. The sounds fade away <laughs> off to the what east. Are you doing? All is silent. If it weren't for him being the Wizir's page and all, I'd have something to say about that. Grr. Wonder where he's taking her. The wedding's the other way. Oh. You'll never know with that one. He's always showing up when he shouldn't be and going where he oughtn't. Let's go check it out. Oh, interesting. So they're actually going to follow the genie. Interesting. Or do they actually? Okay, so now... The guard dogs seem to have... Okay, so they stopped in the back hallway, so they don't... They're not actually doing anything. So, bye. So now that they're done giving the, the nightingale... Stairs. Alexander hears the... F it's wet. Yeah, we know it's wedding Alexander music. looks cautiously. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's all the same. So he's going to walk to the door automatically like he always does. And now that they're done giving the nightingale to Saladin, they won't be here. The wedding music is coming from behind those two large... And I think this part of the game is largely the same as the main path. Except for the dialogue's going to be different because I've never met Saladin. <laughs> You must be the foreigner the Wazir warned me about. I've standing orders to kill you on sight. I'll give you five seconds to explain what you're doing here. I warn you, it had better be good. See, interestingly, I'm not, even though he doesn't know I'm of noble birth, he still gives me the five seconds I need to show him the letter. Wait! If you love your princess, you'll hear me out. Yeah, so this part is exactly the same. There's Jallo. Jallo does not look happy about all this. Alexander is the funny little man from the bookshop is here. Alexander assumes he must have a position in the castle and is here serving as a witness like the guard dogs. Oh, the funny little man is what Jallo is. I was kind of worrying that they would actually say Jallo like we actually knew him, but no, because King's Quest VI is smarter than that. All right, last time I said no to Alhazred, so let's talk to Kasima this time. Kasima, stop! Prince Alexander here? This is an outrage! Who? All right, same as usual. But now we have a quick second to do something. Since ki uh, the king and the queen are not actually back, the priest does not give a crap about any of this, by the way. He's just like, will you guys just sort this out so I can go home? So we saw that uh, Kasima did uh, that little eye flicker thing. So if we use the beast's mirror, which we used once on death and then it shattered, we couldn't. We could use it here. And I, I think this is kind of a clever way to solve it. I wish this could have been factored into the main game. Look into this mirror, my love, and show us your true heart. That mirror? No! Nice beard, Kasima. The lovely image of Kasima suddenly bursts into smoke and is replaced by the Wazir's genie. Shamir, you fool! It's not my fault, Master! The illusion was broken! Treason! What have you done with the princess? Enraged, Saladin and the other guard dogs begin advancing on the wazir. You worthless genie! Do something! Or even do something, you worthless genie! Now, I believe... I'm gonna load for a second. I believe you can also give the, uh, the mint to the genie here. Prince I might Alex be wrong, and like... Why, Cap? He'll kind of lose his head i i remember this i don't remember do i remember perhaps the princess would care for some delicious peppermint leaves hmm mint kasima <laughs> kasima <laughs> oh you can do it princess kill him as, as you wish and now she's drunk and getting married, and I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, let's go after him. Nothing we can do down here. Come back, you traitorous scum. Kill him! Kill him now! As you wish, master. Alright, so now, instead, since we do not Razzle have the uh, genie's bottle to be his uh, new master, we do have some mint to basically make him drunk, and... Uh, this is kind of kind of sad. Look what I have here, my friend. Peppermint. Nice fresh peppermint. Razzle, uh, dazzle. Shamir, forget the stupid peppermint. Don't you dare even think about it. Mm, mint. Oh no, not now. <laughs> he 
He is so stoned. Do something! Shamir Shamazel! Kill him! You have a sword, you do Send it! a small... I mean a ball of... <laughs> Light to frazzle! Oh, where's this one gonna go? Dazzle Ball goes wild. Uh oh. 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 Genie is killed my dad. <laughs> you idiot! Don't you know how valuable he was, you fool? I'll kill you myself for that outrage. Oh my god, that affects so everything. Shall it be El Hazred. I'm ready. It changes everything. All right, to the sword. Ha! Not if I can help it, you murderer! Though that's never been proven. Kasima thrusts the small dagger into Al Hazred's shoulder with all her might. Ah! You! There we go. Now let's see how this plays out. Now that n literally nothing's been solved and the genie is dead. Kasima, are you all right? I'm fine, Alexander. I was just so afraid for you. There's no need to fear anymore, Princess. Yes, I know. How can I ever repay you for myself, for my kingdom? It was not in me to let harm come to you. Can you find it in you, Princess, to give me more than your gratitude? Alexander! What are you saying? I love you, Kasima. Would you ever <laughs> consider... Uh, there's no way she could accept this. Do you this. think you could... marry me? Out of obligation? Sure. Could you ever have doubted it, my prince? How did... Okay. Oh. Kasima and Alexander ask Captain Saladin to perform their wedding ceremony. Saladin is honored to do so. On this historical day of great joy in the land of the Green Isles, we witness the union of Kasima, beloved princess of this realm, and Alexander, prince of Daventry. Do you, Prince Alexander of Daventry, take Princess Kasima to be your wife, to love and to cherish for as long as you both shall live? I do. And do you, Princess Kasima of the Land of the Green Isles, take Prince Alexander to be your husband, to love and to cherish, for as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you have a ring? Um... Uh... I'm afraid <laughs> I... I left my insignia ring in the pawn shop. <laughs> That's, That's all right, Alexander. We'll get one later. That's amazing. Well, uh... <clears throat> I guess we'll skip the ring. Who gives this bride to be wed? This is the worst wedding ever. I guess I do. That would be me! In the name of King Caliphim, beloved friend, I give his daughter Kasima in wedlock. Thank you, funny man. Thank you, Jalo. Oh, Jalo's your name. Oh. Since the groom has no family present, I will speak on his behalf. I don't know this guy. Alexander, your union with this woman is sanctioned and recognized in the eyes of the community. Thank you, Saladin. Then, Alexander and Kasima, <laughs> I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. I guess. Hooray! 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 Yes, and all two people join in celebration. Oh, even Jalo's is like, I don't know this guy. This is kind of sad. Excuse my interrupting your joy, but I have an important question for the new bride and groom. What is it, Saladin? Alexander, Alhazred hurt this little kingdom nearly to the point of destroying all that we stand for. But you are true and good. I imagine. You yourself to all the people. Thank you, Captain. King Caliphim and Queen Alaria are gone, and can never be restored. Al-Hazred has, thankfully, been banished. But we are leaderless. I believe you too can heal this small kingdom from all the damage that Al-Hazred has inflicted upon it. 
Will you too, Alexander and Cosima, consider becoming the ruling king and queen? Why, I'm honored. What do you think, Cosima? I love my homeland, Alexander. I would be happy to stay and serve it all my days. I wish my father were here so that I could ask his advice. If only the genie I were will alive. Miss him. And my mother and sister and Daventry. But I love you, Cosima. And I do feel at home here. Somehow this land and I seem to suit each other. I don't know what kind of king I'll make, but I accept. Oh, Alexander, I'm so happy. If only my parents could have been alive to see this day, my joy would be complete. My bad. I'm sorry I could not spare you that grief, beloved. King Alexander, there is a long road ahead. The ferry must be repaired before we can reunite the islands. Unfortunately, the islands are still feuding. It will take some time and great diplomacy to convince them to reunite and stop fighting each other. Yes, Alexander. We will have to try to discover how El Hazred managed to make them hate each other so that we can undo what he has done. Now let us celebrate our good fortune. The evil that has plagued this land is done, and a new reign begins. Long live King Alexander and Queen Cosima. Long live King Alexander! Long live Queen Cosima! Long live the land of the Green Isles! Hooray! No, Jallo's not. No, oh, Jallo looks so sad. He's gonna cry. Oh my god. It's like, here I am marrying him to this total stranger I've never met. I think I thought I went to the bookstore, though. So, yeah, that is, I think, to my mind, literally the worst ending you can get without dying somehow. So, the genie is dead, which means the A, we cannot repair the fairy, well, magically anyway. Uh, we cannot bring our parents here. We cannot visit home. We can't do anything. The GD was like the linchpin to the entire rebuilding of this entire kingdom. Uh, what else went wrong? Uh, we never discovered that Alhazard was, uh, stole all the treasures. So that's, those are still chilling out downstairs somewhere. So it's like, oh gosh, how are we going to find that out? And I made no friends. Like I, I never met anybody and befriended anyone. So no one's actually here to like celebrate. And it's a private affair. Everyone hates each other. The fairy is still gone. That's the worst ending of King's Quest VI. Oh my god. I didn't even get my ring back. And my ring is like, oh god, I left my ring at the pawn shop. My bad. And she was like, uh, <laughs> what kind of guy am I marrying? So there's, so now we maybe we can use this information that we learned today to uh, start start maybe speed running King's Quest VI, uh, kind of the way we did with King's Quest V. Like, you can go check it out. I was the world record holder for about two weeks in King's Quest V, and now I'm like, I think I got busted down to third. But man, the community for that one's just, well, it's bigger now. That's great. So maybe let's give King's Quest VI a try. I think that's going to be a tougher record to beat. So everybody, thank you for joining me. That is the end of King's Quest VI, both ends of King's Quest VI. We've seen absolutely everything. So I will see you next time. So until then, as always, good night, Jelly Beans. Good night. Please tell me what to do.